بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد Regarding oppression and oppressiveness, Allama, Imam Ahl al-Sunnah in this time, Bin Baz, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, and may Allah bless him with Jannah Tafardos, said regarding oppression, Qala Shaykh, Al-Dhum min aqbil al-akabair wal-dhanub wa-aqibatuhu wa-khima yuqulu Allah subhanahu fi kitabihi al-azim وَمَنْ يَظْلِمْ مِنْكُمْ نُذِكْهُ عَذَابٍ كَبِيرًا كَمَا فِي سُرَةُ الْفُرْقَانِ وَيَقُولُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَالظَّالِمُونَ مَا لَهُمْ مِنْ وَلِيٍ وَلَا نَصِيرٍ سورة الشورة فَالظُّمْ مُنْكَرْ عَظِيمٍ وَعَاقِبِتُهُ وَخِيمَةٍ وَيَقُولُ نَبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ اتقوا الظلم فإن الظلم ظلمات يوم القيامة ويقول الله عز وجل في الحديث القدسي الذي رواه عنه نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يا عبادي إني حرمتم ظلم على نفسي وجعلته بينكم محرما فلا تظالموا إمام بن باز رحمه الله تعالى said Dhulm, or oppression, is one of the most wicked and major sins. And the result of it is evil. And Allah the Almighty and Glorious said in His uh, great book, meaning the Qur'an, that whoever oppresses from amongst you then we will cause him to taste a painful torment, as it was mentioned in Surah Al-Furqan. And Allah, the glorified and mighty, said, And the oppressors, for them, they will have no supporter nor helper, meaning on the Day of Judgment. So then. Therefore, oppression is a great wickedness and its result is pure evil. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Fear oppression or avoid oppression. For verily, oppression will be many uh, types of oppression on the Day of Judgment or many types of darkness. And Allah the Almighty said in, the, in a hadith of Qudsi, which was narrated on the Prophet, from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O my slave, verily I have uh, prohibited oppression on myself, and I have made it between you Muharram, or prohibited. So do not oppress. Then Imam bin Baz, rahimahullah ta'ala said, فَالْوَاجِبَ الْحَذَرْ مِنَ الظُّلْمْ لِجَمِيعِ الْعِبَادِ لِأَهْلَكِ لِزَوْجَتُكَ لِإِخْوَانُكَ لِأَوْلَادُكَ لِأُمُّكَ وَلِأَبِيكَ لِجِرَانِكَ لِغَيْرِهِمْ O li umalaka la tu la tadlumhum. So the Sheikh said that it's an obligation to be a way to warn against oppression or be to avoid oppression for all of his servants, meaning all of mankind. Not uh do not oppress your families, your wife, your brothers, your children your mother, your father, your neighbors, or anyone besides them from your workers. Do not oppress them. أَطِيهِمْ أَجُورُهُمْ كَامِلًا كُلَّمَا انْتَهَا شَهَرْ 
أعطيه أجر أجر أجرته إذا طلب ذلك وهكذا تعطي العامل أجره تعطي العاملة أجرها تعطي الطبيب أجره تعطي من عندك حقوقهم من أولادي وغيره وزوجة غيرها وغيرها المقصود أن ال... أن تحذر الظلم في نفسي أو مال أو غيره لأي أحد من الناس إن الله على الناس دمائهم وأموالهم وأعراضهم فالمؤمن يحاسب نفسه ويتقي ربه فلا يظلم أحد من الناس لا من قريب ولا من بعيد ولا في نفس ولا في مال ولا في عرض The Sheikh then mentioned رحمه الله تعالى He said that it's an obligation to avoid oppression on all of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's servants and as we mentioned uh, with regards to oppressing one's family their wife, their brothers, their children their mother, their father, their neighbors and other than them or even workers, do not oppress them. Give them their wages, complete, their complete wages. And whenever they finish their work during the month, then give them their wage if they ask for that. And likewise, give the workers his wage and the female worker her wage. And give the doctor his his wage, his earnings, that which he uh, is owed. And give everyone their rights, their due rights from your children and other than from your wife or from your spouse and other than, uh, and other than her. What is meant here, or the, po- the main point here, is that to avoid oppression oppressing oneself or or, or or oppressing one another or wealth or being oppressive in any form and oppressing anyone. And verily Allah has made the rights of the people, their, their, their blood, their wealth, and their honor as something which we have rights over one another and must be respected. So the believer will be held accountable for himself and he must fear his Lord and that he should not oppress anyone from amongst mankind. No one close to him and no one who is far from him, meaning not related to him. Nor should he oppress himself, or 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 any any soul, any any soul, or take and oppress a person by their wealth or their honor, and that is what the Imam said, and is a good lesson for us regarding how we should treat one another and treat humankind. That we should not oppress one another, we should avoid oppressing and assisting people in oppression. We should avoid taking the rights of others and we should respect the rights of one another. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah protect the people from having their rights continually taken like what is happening in Syria, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Yemen, and Egypt, and wherever people are being oppressed in Ethiopia and otherwise. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم